and tomorrow the first uh, LCA Mark one e produced in this facility is going to uh, fly before the RM. How important is the event and what does it uh, signify for the country's aircraft uh, program? Yeah, it's a very important day tomorrow when the Raksha Mantri will inaugurate the sec third line of the LCA uh, Tejas and the second line of the HTT-40. We have one in Bangalore. For the LCA, we have two in Bangalore and one here. And uh, this facility has been uh, producing aircraft right from the MiG-21, uh, the MiG-27 and the Sukhoi-30. So uh, we have set up the third line here. And in a short time of less than two years, they have been able to roll out the first aircraft and uh, get it ready for this uh, occasion. So it's a really a great achievement uh, on uh, the part of uh, our HIL Nasik division. And uh, we are very proud that this uh, capability we have added so fast, that we are not able to have three lines of eight and we can deliver those aircraft at a much faster rate. So this was a decision taken by the board that we should enhance uh, capacity. And I'm very happy today that we are seeing the fruition of that decision and the first aircraft has rolled out and as you have seen in the hangars, the second and third are already on the jigs and they're going on. So it's a, a very great uh, achievement uh, on behalf of this division. Uh, sir, uh, you said uh, the idea is to have 30 aircraft produced in, uh, in, in a single year uh, from all the three lines. Now, uh, post uh, the LCA Mark 1A, uh, do we see uh, that uh, would these lines be uh, capable of producing the LCA Mark II as well? Exactly, exactly. If you see the 180 aircraft that we have been uh, tasked to do, the 83 plus 97, we expect to complete it by 32, 33. So by which time the LCA Mark II will enter production. So our facilities will be available and we will be able to use all these facilities to produce the Mark II also. So definitely this capability, whatever uh, capacity we have built, is going to be used in the future for the LCA Mark II also. And sir, uh, talking about the LCA Mark one a uh, you have been able to get the engine supply from G, uh, uh, you have got the fourth engine as well. Yes. And uh, we are expecting the fifth one also very soon. Now, uh, you think uh, you would be able to meet the numbers which the Air Force uh, wants in the due time uh, frame that they have given to you? Yes, uh, we have spoken to G. As you know, today uh, they have overcome their problems. The ramp up is slow, it is taking time. But uh, as they ramp up and reach the maximum capacity, uh, definitely we will be able to catch up and deliver all the aircraft in the period by 32 33. That's, that's our thinking. So, initially, yes, there is a, a slow speed, notwithstanding that since the airframes are getting ready, we will be able to catch up and uh, deliver the quantity in the scheduled time. And sir, uh, since uh, the, uh, the, uh, the LCA Mark 1A, uh, everybody is asking that when is it going to get inducted into the Air Force? So uh, by when do we see that happening? Uh, right now we are in those trials. As I said, we are uh, in the trials uh, doing the weapon trials. So uh, results are going in a positive way. So I expect that uh, in the coming months uh, we will be able to finish that. And then we will be in a position to uh, deliver this aircraft. So today it is at that stage, if you can look at the aircraft, structurally, physically, everything is there. So whatever changes are going to come are going to be essentially software changes. Either it's the weapon aiming, the radar or EW, it's going to be software. So uh, it will be quite easy to quickly upgrade the software to the latest standard and deliver. So I think the key issue here is... We have built the capacity, we are building the aircraft, and if we do this uh, weapon trials are successful, then the deliveries will follow quite easily. Uh, sir, uh, are there any countries, uh, foreign-friendly countries, who have shown interest in buying the LCA Mark 1A with the uh, kind of configuration that you, you, you would be able to offer to them? Yes, there have been interest expressed uh, by many countries. Um, we are uh, discussing and uh, today it's at a very preliminary stage, but uh, the kind of interest shown is very heartening because uh, uh, they feel it's a very capable aircraft and we are also showcasing uh, to them.
what are our capabilities what are the additions we can do so i think that's something which we look forward in the future but the basic groundwork is being done in terms of talking to them uh, telling them about the capabilities of the aircraft so i think it's at that initial stages uh, of engagement uh, sir you have personally been associated with the mic 21 bison program and now the lca tejas mark 1 is going to be the replacement of these bisons how do you compare the two aircraft and uh, how, like in terms of capability how much of how, how big a jump is, is the lca tejas no it's quite uh, quite a jump in technology if you see in terms of the kind of uh, electronics avionics that the tejas has it's a four and a half generation aircraft it's got a very capable asa radar ew suite missiles and so on so i think it's a uh, very advanced aircraft and uh, the the mig 21 bison is of course of a different vintage and for its time it was of course a a very capable aircraft uh, which we did also an upgrade which was called the bison but uh, i would not uh, compare it apples to apples because this is a generation apart and a much much more capable aircraft and sir uh, lastly how do you compare the mark 1a with the contemporary aircraft uh, in different parts of the world including the jf17 i think we have a very capable aircraft today the state of the art avionics in terms of a very capable radar ew suite uh, the weapon configuration uh, so it's a it's a, i would say a cutting edge aircraft and uh, more importantly it is an aircraft we can maintain upgrade ourselves i can add new weapons i can add new capabilities because we are in full control of the software and hardware so i think uh, it's on par with anything in the world i have no doubt about it and sir uh, on the stt40 program uh, what is the schedule that you are looking at from here sir today here we have the second line here the first aircraft is already ready i mean it's uh, a coming to the stage of uh, testing the engine ground runs and so on uh, so the second line has started that will also start rolling out the first aircraft also is ready in bangalore uh, it has also had come to a final stage so i think uh, both uh, divisions will be producing this aircraft and uh, uh, it's moving at a good pace so we are uh, confident and, and it will happen it should happen few year few aircraft this year it should happen so we are still working on that and getting uh, them ready as quickly as possible